I would not make this uh, a lengthy video, just a quick one. Usually people play video games for the sake of entertainment, or for the sake of killing time or wasting it, or for the sake of content creation and whatnot. For me, it's much different than that. As your host, Invisible the Non-Existent, Hidden from my eyes to the shadows of your hearts, I am a person who is suffering from five major problems. I have a clinical chronic suicidal depression, type melancholic, meaning all my mental links to happiness have been severed completely, and the only emotion I feel is hatred, rage, revenge, and wrath. The second one is I have extreme severe social anxiety. I have a clinical phobia of failure and of the future. I have a severe clinical panic attack disorder. And uh, finally, the fifth one. I have a non-existent self-esteem. To me, everything I ever do is trash, literally. And uh, everything I ever achieved is pointless. And frankly enough, I highly doubt that anyone would care whether I lived or I died. It doesn't really matter at all. I'm doing this video as it's my 15th attempt to speak to you heart to heart without the scripts at all. Yeah, 15th, 15th attempt. All the videos before that were completely deleted. When it comes to melancholic depression, usually when they, you have depression, whatever you do, you lose interest in. Uh, Whatever you once liked, you lose interest in uh, contacting friends and family and uh, everyone that you cared about, lose interest in hobbies, and have difficulty with studying, working, etc. And even you sometimes think, why should I even wake up? If someone else will do better than me, then might as well just leave this world and let them do my own job for themselves. Since as you know very well that the only way for you to truly get rid of all of your problems permanently is to die. Well, when it comes to melancholic depression, clinical uh, level, it's much worse than that. When the clinical melancholic severe uh, suicidal depression, I need to fight myself every passing moment, not to get myself a weapon and end my life instantly. I need to keep constantly reminding myself that I have something to work for, some goal to achieve. Some work left undone will not be beautiful, it will be ugly. And also I need to do some videos, lots of videos, for the sake of keeping my promise and my word. So for me, gaming and recording content is not as much entertainment and uh, just gaming having fun as much as it's literally life-saving. Let me take, put you straight to the point here. The video, the days where I do not record anything at all, an enormous guilt comes over me that is way as much as 10 blue wheels that are pulling the rope around my neck as a, in a noose. And uh, whenever I don't, uh, whenever I live a uh, day that I don't believe I achieved anything of worth while or of any value in it, I'd rather die honestly than keep on going. Uh, for me, when I play game and, uh, games, and when I play the role of other people, I have something to do, a list to do, um, goals, achievements, 
missions, etc. These things give me an excuse. I am too busy to think about leaving yet. That's why I'm in the play games. Previously, I used to love making videos to help others to check out new stuff, and uh, I started honestly creating content in the first place and walkthroughs to help others achieve their goals and defeating the game itself. But after I gained my anxiety and my uh, depression, and once I gained finally my panic attack disorder, let me quickly be clear here for you with it. Uh, panic attacks have three stages. The first one is when you breathe uh, faster and feel extreme horror and that your life is in threat for whatever reason. The second stage is uh, on the line. As I would say it, as I would call it, on the line stage is when you start feeling you are losing control over your body, you start to sweating, you start breathing even heavier, and you are about to lose it all. When you are on level 1 and level 2, you can still regress to level 0. Once you have given up completely, you enter stage 3, you have crossed the line, where all of your energy will be spent completely, your body will go into a complete frenzy, and uh, good luck staying uh, conscious or alive through where after, since your body will not stop uh, crushing you until it has used up to 95% of your uh, full stamina and health. I, since uh, I have a severe clinical disorder, I get panic attacks around the clock, maybe over 12 times per week. Some of them are simple, some of them are uh, bad, but the more often ones I am starting to get are from level 3 and over. If you reach level 4, you will die. That's that, honestly. Level 4 is when you completely lose all control of your real body. Your uh, muscles crumble so much and uh, strain themselves that they prevent you completely from movement. In which case, most likely your heart will fall and you will die. So, why am I telling you all of this? It's because an anxiety fuels panic attacks. Depression fuels, fuels an anxiety, and panic attacks fuels depression and, and an anxiety both. So, I am living in a closed circle. So, where does, the, does gaming have to do with any of this? Gaming for me works as a distraction. As a distraction. Um, I get things to do. Just to play, to things to collect, dialogue to read, lures to understand and to go through. I am too busy to care. And whenever I have uh, homework with a college or whatever, I tell myself I am too busy with what I have on hand that I'm not going to just fear out of uh, fear anything. Uh, or trigger the phobia of the future of failure. However, when you give me a task or a mission that I need to do, but you don't give me at least what I'm supposed to do, or the, at least the step number zero, as in what happens with rogue lights, rogue light, lights and likes, when you are supposed to just explore the entire area like a moron, and then start discovering your, your some objects and what you need to do like a moron, um, my brain can no longer take on this moronic behavior. Um, the Going on with uh, anything at all in my life, honestly, that forces me to make my own uh, choices and my own, uh, basically, opinions breaks me very much because I have a phobia for picking, taking the leap, basically. I'm a follower, not a leader. I take orders and uh, answer questions. I do not make choices and opinions. I do not take risks.
if I can do something, I'll just give up on it from the get-go. If um, I can't give up on it, I'll seek some easier way to do deal with it. And when someone tells me that all, all what you do, you will be the one to choose it, and you will be responsible for your own choices, that is the worst possible thing you can tell me. Because the phobia of making choices, the phobia of taking risk, and the phobia of uh, failure and the future will all trigger at once and they will lead me to a panic attack. So for me, personally speaking, gaming is not about entertainment, it's not about having fun, it's therapy. More therapy than anything else. They give you a list what to do, where to go, how to do it, how to go for it, and what is required from you. All of this makes my life much easier, I think at least. So, studying gives me the anxiety of failure and of the future. Gaming gives me the anxiety of the unknown. But when I have a list of what to do and where to go, I can vent over a bit of it. And when I don't get to do anything at all throughout my uh, day that I consider of actual worth, I feel extreme guilt and extreme anxiety that I am putting down too many of you and I am not being an honest person. I do realize very well that my viewers are all humans and they have also lives to live on, jobs to do, uh, education to go through, and problems to go through. I understand that. I understand also the fact that whenever you invest your own lifetime with my own content, basically you are giving me what I never deserve and never will by your own consent and admission. You are permitting me to take from your lives minutes or hours at an end and uh, you don't really mind using the up your lives watching the trash I make. Which is something I am guilty, uh, guilty about. Because frankly enough, if I had the uh, right to recommend you anything, I'd recommend you not to watch anything I do, because most likely you have other stuff that are waiting to be done and are waiting to happen. You have your own lives to live through with them, and you have your own opinions, laws, rules, uh, tastes and interests to fall. So, giving this uh, unworthy shadow band content creator that keeps getting copyright claims on his trash, your time is too much generous from your side to the point where I honestly believe I don't deserve it. Multiple times I uh, requested loyalty, requested feedback, requested multiple stuff, so that I can make sure I am making something that you actually would like to invest in your lifetime and your own uh, power and electricity and bandwidth to watch. That's something that I will just throw together on my own. I'm not doing things for myself, I'm doing it for my uh, content consumers. Frankly enough, asking people to like, favorite, or share, or sub for my uh, content makes me feel guilty. Because the content that I create has to advertise itself by itself literally. If my content is not good enough, you have all the right to ignore it and to trash it. If you, my content is not worth your likes, don't uh, like them. If you, my content is not worth sharing, don't share it. If my content makes you believe that you made the wrong decision by subscribing for me, feel free to leave. I know very well that whatever I'm doing is the very minimum that you deserve, or rather you um, would accept. You deserve much more than this, very, very much more. I'm giving you just the bare minimum because that is where my abilities reach. And if I were to truly give you what you truly deserve, which is uh, full uh, HD videos with uh, 
the highest possible graphic settings and whatnot, and also the journals that I don't feel comfortable with, I go through with them and I play them back again. My channel is for a specific niche and a specific type and style. I do not play everything. I am very, very picky at about what I pick or what I play, so I need to make sure that I do not make you regret watching whatever the hell I end up doing. Many people around me in the platform can make better, much, much better content with better edits, better voice acting, better microphones. Everything is just completely unrivaled, unrivaled, unrivalable. And for me personally, frankly enough, I believe that whatever I do of content or of uh, games or whatnot, I am literally down a valley looking up at the sun and thinking that I can reach it and reach the people that are sitting on it with the highest possible talents, skills, followers and even donations i am not monetized i am a free commoner that creates that creates uh, content that's it i am not monetized i don't have a job i am a student of the college higher education and uh, i'm not a, i don't even guarantee whether i'll keep up my uh, action or not it's highly possible that once i finish college i'm going to permanently quit being an uploader altogether and I just give up on it and seek myself a job since I am being pressured to do so and also YouTube is improving to me to be very much um, unfixable extremely rigid and very much user uh, anti-user this site only wants the big corporates and um, enterprises to keep giving it money in exchange for advertisements and ads and if it had the ability to do it to have kept kicked and banned all the non-monetized channels long ago so do I see for myself a future with YouTube? I don't Let's come clean and out like this. I don't. I highly doubt I'll be able to get monetized here. And even if I do get monetized, the money I will be making will be nothing. Literally, nothing. What about Rumble? Rumble already monetized me, but I don't have the same following I have in here. If I were to have the same following there and uh, get people to see advertisements and whatnot, I may start to gain money from there. But also, I'll have to continuously keep uploading all my backup to Rumble, which is something I can do easily. Any other uh, platforms? I may be able to move to Twitch, but from the latest news I am hearing about it, they are uh, not user friendly anymore. I can also just try some other platforms, but that is not the idea of this video at the moment. So, yeah. I need so many distractions in order to be, to be able to think or even be productive. And these uh, distractions are in, for, in forms of playing video games, watching anime, watching uh, manual recaps, or reading whatever, or writing novels. So if I don't have these distractions to me, I'll get extreme anxiety and I'll start feeling fearing failure in the future altogether which should end up for me believing that I am better off just non-existent. I already started searching long ago for uh, firearms shops around my, around my area, and I am, uh, frankly enough, considering getting myself a firearm. I don't have annoying neighbors, God forbid, let alone gangs in the, this, this district. But I believe that the deed I wish to do will require me one bullet. But you will go to hell, I don't care anymore. As a matter of fact, I, be I highly believe that Haven is by now too much crowded. That 
it's pointless for me anymore to try to attract, since many others are more worthy of it than myself. And uh, I don't think my deeds are even worth uh, bragging about doing with it. So, what now? Currently, I wish to finish off all of my promises for the uh, projects to continue and finish my own education and if possible to give myself some freelancing work since I hate very much to work under someone else's uh, leadership or bossship since uh, bosses are very much annoying and uh, disgusting. So I can uh, work on the system of uh, payment per contract, it would be much easier and much better than that. Freelancing right now is becoming a trending fashion, by the way. Um, what is that to say? If I could get rid of my anxiety for financial aid and for the uh, future, if I can get myself enough money to pay for my groceries and my b bills, and if I can finish my studies and uh, have a stable career, I think I wouldn't ask for anything, anything more than that. Secure uh, money and career and have uh, a shelter to live in. That's all I want. I'd rather honestly to work from home other than from an office. That's why I would rather be a freelance to do my thing. And if I can do my thing as gaming, so be it would be very good and also help me to get distracted from all the negative idea, ideology and uh, possible results. How uh, long do I uh, expect to be alive? Um, I will tell you from this very moment onward, if I can't be successful enough, uh, once I reach uh, 39, I am finishing it all. I do not intend on reaching 40. 40 is an age that I'm not interested in. If I can reach 39, and while being successful, so be it. If I'm not successful while being uh, 39, then I'll get my gun and finish it off. People say that the age of 40 is the midlife crisis. To be honest, the age of 20 is already a too late life crisis. For me personally speaking, if you reach level, if you reach um, life age twenty, you have already lived more than enough. You will tell me, but that means you are very small and still young. I tell you no. No. Frankly enough, reaching the age of ten is already so much as is. Reaching the age of ten makes you a survival. A survivor. Reaching the age of 20 makes you an old person, and there is no need at all to, for you to reach 30 or 40. It's completely pointless by that, by, by that point. So when would the people have time to work? Um, no need to. If you're going to die by the age of 20 to 30, so there's no, there's no, no need really, uh, neither for education or for uh, jobs. You will just have to make sure you leave someone behind you to carry on your accent that's it. Or better, better even much, don't leave anyone. Am I calling for... Uh, am I calling for... Uh, nihilist style of life? Honestly, don't care. Many people call me a nihilist, but again, I have severe clinical melancholic suicide and depression. What are you expecting from me? To me, myself, honestly, the only justice that exists in the world is in death. Nothing else. And if I can find success before I reach 39, so be it. To me, reaching success, success is not my genetics. Reaching success is something that you are born with, not you, something you gain. 
Unless you are born in something with a golden uh, spoon in, the, in your mouth, then forget it. Many people around the world, once they become the top of the top in their own companies and their own enterprises, finally realize that no matter how high you go, someone higher than you exists still and they will trample you. It's, it's uh, pointless, no need for that. That's why I uh, try to stay as much as possible uh, minimalist, since when you don't have to expect anything at all, any, any rewards or any feedback, you will not be disappointed when neither of them arrives to you. Just have no expectations at all. And once you do so, you will have a very much better time with your own mind and your own mental health. Whatever you do and whoever you help out or whatever you carry of needs, always remember, whatever you do has no value, it's worthless. That's at the very least my, my own ideology. Whatever deeds you make are uh, worth nothing. Anyway, I think I have uh, gone for, for too long now. For the last time, I will say it. For me, it's not being. It's therapy. <laughs>